There's no place like home. That's right, Dorothy. You're not in Kansas anymore. Her fantastic friends may be looking for a heart, a brain, and the nerve, but it's been Hollywood stardom at the end of this yellow brick road for one lucky little girl. The Wizard of Oz has taken America by storm, and so has Judy Garland. MGM's magical retelling of L. Frank Baum's classic children's book is currently breaking attendance records wherever it's shown. The studio mailroom reports that little Judy receives more mail than any other player. That includes Mickey Rooney, America's number one box office draw. Look out, Mickey. There's a new star on the horizon, and her name is Judy Garland. Every city is the Emerald City for this energetic twosome. Wherever they go on their personal appearance tour, the Garbo and Gable of Hollywood High are mobbed by their adoring fans. You know this one, don't you, dudes? Oh, I think I can remember the words. <laughs> Good morning. Here's the birdie scene. It's great to say a play. Good morning. Good morning to you. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. Now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say good night. Good morning. Good morning. can't fall apart now. Just wait till the weekend. We've got eight shows a day instead of seven. It's like we're back in vaudeville again. I just remembered. I hate it, Papa. Hard is up. I would give anything for a hot dog right now. And some chocolate cake, and some ice cream, oh, and that vanilla malt, and some French fries, oh, a hamburger, and oh, an egg cream. I really like one of those. What would you like right now? There's nothing else I want. Nothing else I'd rather do than what I'm doing right here, right now with you. Really? You ready? No. Just hold on to me and don't let go, whatever you do. Where the clouds are far behind me Where troubles melt like lemon drops up. Away above the chimney tops That's where you'll find me Somewhere over the Andy Hardy all to myself. Unless Betty Grable or Lana Turner show up. Do me a favor, Jutes. Yeah. Okay. If I do get a date tonight, could you get a ride home with your buddy Artie Shaw? I'm sure he won't mind. Oh, no, he won't mind at all. I'll get that for you. So nice seeing you again, Artie. I had a swell time, but I always do when I'm with you. 
Me too, kid. And thanks for coming up on stage. You can't imagine what it means to me when you sing with the band. No, please, I can't sing. You're kidding, right? Compared to Billie Holiday and Helen Forrest, I stink. You're crazy to say that. They're band singers. You're a show singer. Apples and oranges. I've got this vibrato that I can't control. My voice has a life of its own. Judy, what you do with a song, nobody else can do. Most singers, they just sing the notes. You become the song. Really? Really. <laughs> <laughs> now watch that, kid. Uh, sorry. Well, good night. Good night. Call me soon. Sure thing. Aren't you going to even say good night? Good night, Mama. Mr. Gilmore? She doesn't like me. Oh, now don't worry, Will. She'll learn to. She's hardly said a word to me since we got married. All right, but you have to give her time. You know how close she was to Frank. And I don't like the hours she's been keeping. Neither do I. I'll have something to say about that. What that my throat were blessed by the nightingale. That I could but sing of my heart's great love. In some lovely tree flooded with silver. Sing till I burst my breast with such passion Sing, then fall dead to lay at your feet. say I'm surprised given all the carousing I understand you've been up to. What? No use trying to deny it. Your mother called me. What did she tell you? She's worried. And I must say, I'm also worried. You have been seen at Ciro's almost every night. I'm just spending time with the friends. Too much time. We pay you a great deal of money. You have an image to maintain. And you owe it to us to maintain it. This Hardy Shaw is much too old for you. He's already been married twice, divorced twice. You know, there's a morals clause in your contract. You know that, don't you? He's just a friend. Your father. May he rest in peace. If he were alive today, I am sure he would want you to put a stop to this friendship of yours. I love you as a father loves his child. You have been a bad girl. But I'll forgive you. But I only keep on people who behave. You have a public to think about. A responsibility. father's heart. <laughs> 